Hello and welcome back to Minecraft. Now, last time, I uh, had just finished setting up my tree farm over here. And as you can see, it's still going perfectly well. I finished setting up all the rest of the dirt down here. And as you can see, this is what happens whenever... It's what I was talking about last time, whenever a tree grows on it at least one of these massive trees it completely depletes the uh, soil and turns it into sand and uh... yeah I also put in a little hatch right here so it would be easier to get in and out and as you can see it is pumping out wood it is producing plenty of wood for me this uh item hopper is already filled up and this uh, steam furnace is going fairly well and just like I said before this is producing a lot more charcoal than it's actually being used to power this entire system so once this hopper fills up this barrel will start filling up I also redid the hallway right here put down some floors filled in the walls and started setting up a sorting system. Uh, it's just a basic sorting system using build crash pipes. There is a new type of item transport the, uh, in Greg Tech. He has his own build, his own uh, item transport pipes. And I haven't used them yet, and but they are a bit expensive at the moment. They use uh, bronze plates uh, or brass plates. I'm not exactly sure, but it takes a lot of them. Let me uh, take a look. Yeah, here they are. Fluid pipes, brass item pipes and like that. And it actually takes a lot of plates to make these six plates for uh, two pipes. And that's a bit expensive. It does carry entire stacks though. It carries entire stacks, two stacks of items per second, so it might be worth it once you have enough materials, but for now, I don't really have enough. Now, I have been, the reason I started uh, up recording is because I thought I'd show you what I've been doing here. Now, I uh, moved the pipe over, and I have it going into these uh, diamond pipes, and just like the uh, pipe I had set up before, to send all the wood into that uh, furnace down there. I have single items going into the black and stuff I want sorted going into white going up and around into these chests. Now <laughs> I made a, a bunch of uh, silver chest upgrades. <laughs> I didn't really mean to do that. But basically you can either... These are upgraded single block chests unlike the double chests, they only take up a single block just like a single chest would and you can either make them from scratch from a like this copper chest by taking a normal chest surrounding it with copper which creates a copper chest and then taking the copper chest and upgrading it to a silver chest and then upgrading it to a gold chest with a silver chest in the middle or an iron chest and you can go all the way to diamond chests which are have massive storage capacity but uh, since I already have these chests sitting here and I already started uh, sorting items into it I built a uh, item upgrade which is basically wood to copper which is a wood chest to a copper chest and then I built a bunch of copper chest to silver chests and the reason I'm doing that instead of going straight for an iron chest is because the s copper to silver to gold is cheaper to do it that way because the iron to gold takes a iron ingot and eight iron ingots eight, one iron ingot and eight gold ingots as opposed to the silver chest upgrade which only takes four golden ingots so it using going the copper to silver to gold instead of iron and straight to gold 
actually cuts down on the materials and since I have so much silver right now that I do not need this is a much easier thing to do so as you can see all you have to do is right click with on the up on the chest with the upgrade and instead of three lines of storage we now have one two three four five lines of storage in this single chest and you can also take other single block chests like this and put them right next to each other just like that and they don't interconnect now I think I have a couple more yeah here we go I'm gonna upgrade this one and uh, let's see what do I need to store upgraded I think I'll upgrade this one there we go now as I said I made a bunch of these uh, copper to silver I did that accidentally by uh, shift clicking when I should have uh, just uh, clicked on it and now five lines two one two three four five six seven eight lines eight lines of storage in this one chest now I'm gonna use up all these since I have so many of them oh man I did not mean to make these this many oh well uh, it'll come in handy anyway I had plenty of silver now I'll be able to sort all my things into all these various chests through all these diamond pipes. Now, I, this uh, mod pack does have applied energetics, which has its own massive storage system. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Here it is. Oh, damn it. Applied Energetics, which has tons of items, tons of blocks, and all this kind of cool stuff you can uh, build in order to have a massive storage system in a very small area. Uh, some of these, some of this stuff is uh, has huge storage. I mean, stacks up to a thousand items. I think you store a thousand items in a single space but it takes up a lot of materials to build that and it also takes a constant power source uh, build craft power the MJ engine power and I'm not really sure I'm ready to have that set up yet I'm not exactly sure how much power it needs and I'm still setting up my uh, steam engine power system so I'll get to that eventually so for now I'm just gonna have a bunch of chests with a bunch of build craft pipes going into everything so let's see what else is I need to sort out here I think this chest will be all organic stuff so uh, white will go there and I'll also have like seeds and flowers and other stuff once I uh, get it out of my other chests now these are cobblestone pipes so I'm going to use stone transport pipes right here and stone and cobblestone transport pipes do not connect so I'm able to uh, have this coming up and around just like this without it interconnecting with the uh, neighboring pipe system and the reason I went ahead and put that single cactus in there is to keep stuff from going in there because if a, an output has a single item in it like this only that will go into it and only the stuff in this bar in this uh, row will go into this pipe and anything unsorted will go into any other available output so everything's going to yellow and going down into my uh, barrels right here and uh, I've already gotten 12 stacks of wood so this is gonna fill up fairly fast I'm getting tons of wood in there uh, Let's see, what else is I need to sort out here? Hmm. Let's see, I've already got a chest for my bars. I've got a chest for mechanical stuff. I uh, still need to see what I need to sort out here. Hmm. 
Now, the reason I'm putting a bunch of stuff like this in there, the way I am, is because I plan on having a single, like, dump chest that I can just dump a bunch of stuff into and have it go there without having to worry about manually sorting everything. And stuff in here. Ah, there's an idea. Putting a bunch of all my wood and other sorted items like that, as well as saplings. I can have a sapling chest in my sorting system, and I'll have everything set up so I can just dump stuff in a single chest down here, and it automatically gets sorted, and I won't have to worry about any of it. So I'll put this in there. Stuff I'm actually probably going to get a ton of, like food and uh, stuff like this that I'll pick up randomly and I'll just dump in a chest so I don't have to manually do this stuff. But for now I don't have that set up. So I'm just gonna manually put it all in here. So and this will be helpful once I actually get some type of quarry or miner set up which won't be for a very long time because I have to build all that uh, Greg Tech stuff. But, let's see, this chest will be random crap I don't really know about, or just don't need right now. It's probably stuff like bones, because I know I don't need a lot of bones right now. So white will go to the bones, and I'll also put bone meal, and uh, other random crap I don't really need a lot of. So yeah, that's my sorting system basically set up. I still got a lot of stuff I need to move over from those chests before uh, I actually get done. But I just wanted to come over here and start setting and show you what I had set up. So I'm going to stick all the rest of these extra, ah, uh, all this extra stuff I don't need, I did not really mean to build. <laughs> uh, let's see, I'll also stick this in there. And stick these pipes in here. This is going to be my uh, mechanical stuff, like pipes and old machines that I don't use. So, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Now, I also need to move all my uh, workbenches and uh, my workbench, my uh, Tinker's Construct stuff over here so I can have a little area set up for it, get it out of my house. That way I can start working on some jammy furniture stuff and actually have my house set up again. I mean, it's not really as big as my... Uh, uh, New World Mod Pack house was, but I'll be able to make it a little better. Have some furniture in here. Have some uh uh like a little kitchen area and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, let's see what else do I want to do this episode. Hmm. Um, oh, something else I noticed. Uh, ever since one, ever since the mods were updated to 1.6.4, it, uh, changed the way uranium drops whenever you mine it up. Now, when you mine it, you get an ore, like, uh, you would gold or copper or anything like that. It's actual square ore. Instead of the, uh, fuel system like fuel thing right like this which means you have to either process it or something like that but it also means that if you have any of this left over before you updated 1.6.4 do not pick it up <laughs> I learned this the hard way do not pick this stuff up and put it in your inventory it will give you radiation poisoning <laughs> I died like four or five times before I could actually get it and put it back in that chest. 
when I was trying to move stuff over. It was not. <laughs> and I lost all my experience, too. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, let's see. What else do I want to do this episode? Hmm. Now, I know I'm going to need some glowstone once I start building the uh, industrial craft machines. So I might actually build a nether portal and head in there. And oh, I also need to grab some more uh, cobble, more uh, charcoal. I've got 13 ingots out of that. I'll just grab some of the charcoal out of here. That way I can save the coal coke for other stuff. Let's see, uh, I'll grab a stack out of there. And as you can see, see what I mean, I'm, it's using far less charcoal than it's actually uh, producing. I mean, it's producing a lot more charcoal than it's using, and I could just take it and use it to fuel my uh, blast furnace like this. So, let's see, I am going to, I think I'm actually going to build a nether portal. Now, I don't know if anybody else has built another portal nearby, so hopefully I won't have to uh, rebuild it in the nether again so I so I actually come out at my house. Let's see, where did I put it? Ah, ten obsidian, just what I needed. And I'll grab some of this. I've got my sword ready. I should probably build a bow. I think I actually have a bow. That might be a good idea. In case I run into any ghasts. I think I actually have a bow in here. Yeah, there we go. And I've got thir ooh, only 13 arrows. Ah, oh, well, I'll go ahead and take that with me, I guess. Ah. Okay, where do I want to put this? I think I'm going to put it somewhere out of the way. Maybe over here. Because I am going to need some glow... I know I'm going to need some glowstone at some point. So I may as well go ahead and grab some. Did I build that? I don't remember. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember building that. Huh. Or has somebody else been up here? Uh, that was probably me. Just being silly. So I think I'm going to have it against this wall here. just like this and uh... nope I need one more over there you go so I can take the obsidian and I just remembered I don't have flint and steel I'll put some corner bits just to uh, make it look okay. Now I just need to go grab a flint and steel, and I can light this portal up. Now I have not been to the Nether yet in this mod pack, but the uh, I think the it's called ne Natura Natura mod is installed, Natura wood or something. Uh, I'm not really sure. But apparently it adds stuff to the nether itself. I mean, I dump this uh, steel. I've got 44 steel ingots. So I should have enough to at least get a generator going as well as some other stuff. But for now, I'm going to take this flint, take the steel. And apparently, <laughs> oh, don't tell me. Don't tell me I have to make plates. Oh. Steel nugget. 
you need a steel nugget. You need a steel nugget for it? What the hell? <laughs> Fine, I'll make a steel nugget. Damn it. And where'd that uh, thing go? There we go. Flint and steel, and where did I put this stuff? Ah, there we go. Dark ash. Damn it. Ah, crap. <laughs> I need to do something about that. Okay. I, I hate that bug. Just kind of get stuck on stuff for no apparent reason. It just sticks you in the corner of a block. So let's head into the Nether and see what we can find. <laughs>